Okay, let's uh, start the light tour from this corner. Looking in, you can see the lights of the farmhouse. You can kind of swing around. You can see the signal lanterns for the uh, switches. These are all over the layout. And I know it's hard to see because of the window back there changing everything, but have the three gooseneck lamps over each one of the main doors to the roundhouse, illuminating uh, the three steamers with their noses poking out. Got these two sets of lamps. These are original to the layout construction, illuminating the uh, Rico station and the platform. And if you look in there real close, you can see I got lights inside Rico Station. Subtle, but kind of cool. This is one of the gooseneck lamps I had left over from the roundhouse lighting project. So I put it here. And it's it's amazing these tiny little rice grain lights how how much light they actually put out and then coming over here to the dog food factory this is really cool it's got the warning lights up top flashing the buildings illuminated it's got this really cool animated sign on it and down there on the Loading dock. You can see a couple guys talking and Jack the German Shepherd's just kind of chilling, making sure everything is uh, as it should be. Have a guy walking into that door and another guy going up the steps. And then as we ouch, pan on around, we get over to this part. And you can see the lights on the uh, fueling station office, lights in the engine shed. There's one of the gooseneck lamps uh, illuminating the door on the roundhouse. Coming around, we got, uh, I found this uh, voltage and amp meter accessory that I added to the ZW, which obviously shows you what's going on there and over here we got the lights on the switch machine showing the red and green of how they're positioned and we swing around this way and you can see that the little billboard there has got lights on it looks pretty cool uh, from this angle, you can get a little bit better shot of the lights in the engine shed. The light on the side of the roundhouse. The back of the roundhouse. Uh, both of these platforms have lights in them. And if you look real close in there, you can see that the uh, interior of the roundhouse is illuminated. And I've got to tell you, Retrofitting lights into this roundhouse while it was sitting on the table was a real pain, but it looked so cool when it was done. Coming around, we got uh, lights over the marshalling yard. These were part of the original install. We have the gooseneck lamp over the side door to the roundhouse. And then you can see the goosenecks a little bit better this way over the main doors at a roundhouse. Putting, uh, putting some light down there over the noses of the locos po uh, poking out. The little uh, fueling station had lamps on it. And over there is the main light tower that gives the light to the uh, engine yard. Got a warning light there on the water tower. And coming back over this way, you get a little bit better view of the lights in the farmhouse and 
end view of the Bunnyville station and area. And that's pretty much it. That is the Lower Alabama Railroad by night. Um, I hope you enjoy this little update, that you'll come back and keep an eye out for uh, additional videos. Give me a thumbs up, th 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 thumbs up if you like this, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.